with Luke. Are we going to see you in another little bubble tomorrow night on Takeaway? <laughs> exactly, Louis. People are working from home and people are in bubbles. Uh, I took it quite literally uh, every Saturday now. I spent my Saturday in a bubble. Uh, and yes, Lorraine, tomorrow I am in a bubble and I think I might be winning some money for somebody tomorrow. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank but we're going to see Florence Lorraine. next, Andy, aren't we? Joining Ant and Deck tomorrow. She's yes, been can I have a quick dance? Do you yes, mind? Yes, of course you can. Give it to me. Hit it. It's a, good, Thanks, it's, a, it's a proper tune, that. It's a proper tune. Now, our Fleur, yeah. she's been surprising people at the end of the Saturday Night Takeaway Rainbow every week, and she joins me now. You saw her there. Hiya, Fleur. Hi, Lorraine. Lovely to see you. That song, you can't not dance when you hear your song. It's, it's impossible <laughs> not to start giving it, giving it all that. So, you yeah. have been on Saturday Night Takeaway. It is such a great idea, isn't it? And then... Um, it was brilliant on Saturday because the, the couple that won had just got engaged. Couldn't have worked out better. Honestly, it's just, you just think, what are the chances? Like, it's totally picked at random. But well, that's what I love about it so much is that Hello, is you that never know who's going to answer the door. And when they came out and said, we've just got engaged tonight. And I thought, amazing, we've all been in lockdown. Like, our worlds have been turned completely upside down during this pandemic. And to be able to knock on their door and give them a free holiday, give them their honeymoon, essentially, was incredible. Oh, it's such a, it's such a great show. It's such a feel-good show as well, isn't it? And um, what can we what can we look look forward to from you tomorrow night Do you, can you tell us well I can't actually tell you where I'm going to be yet okay. but I will be under the rainbow and yes. I'll be knocking on someone's door giving them another takeaway getaway so yeah I'm really excited it's it's brilliant isn't it and we've got we've got a wee sneaky preview of other things that you can see tomorrow night have a look at this I've raised lots of money by running cycling and swimming across the UK and one day I'll give some of it to charity <laughs> <laughs> wait who are you? Bear! Where? Oh, me. You think I'll get used to that? <laughs> it's such good fun. I had such a laugh last week. It was really hilarious doing the, the, the bank job, my evil, my evil twin Fleur. It's just, it's, it's the kind of show that um, the whole family can sit and watch and we can all enjoy. Oh, it's just so much fun. And the boys just don't take themselves too seriously at all. They're back with another Ant versus Deck with Stephen Mulhern this weekend. And I think everyone is just waiting to see what Stephen is going to wear this time, right? Because he came out last time and it was like, bam, there in his golden glory, head to toe. I mean, he got a lot of uh, comments after that, didn't he? <laughs> That's fantastic. He is such a laugh. He's such a good lad. He really is. It's absolutely fantastic. It's so good. <laughs> And I love the pandas. It's just, it's just great. It really is. But look, we can see you have been such so busy through all of this time. Obviously, still doing your radio show, of course. Yes, yes, with Hits Radio, here we are. I'm literally live from the studio now. But obviously, I had to make an exception for you, Lorraine. You need to come on the show. We absolutely love you here. I'd, I would, I would love to. It's just such a feel-good station, isn't it? It's proper. I mean, I've been, I've, I've been listening to so much radio when I'm out uh, walking with Angus, and just generally, you know, when you just want to shut everything else out and you just want to enjoy some yeah. really good music or some really good chat. That is definitely, definitely what, what you want to do. Now, look, you have got a project that you want to do, I know, which is get all of the X Factor, all of the people that we know and love from all of the time, because there's no X Factor right now, there will be next year, I'm sure, and have a big collaboration. Yeah, I just think there's not enough collaborations. And I feel like when you look over the past years of X Factor, I mean, you've got the likes of James Arthur, you've got Ella Henderson, Little Mix. I mean, they've been so successful. And even the boys from One Direction, I just think one, two, three, put them all together, bam and just have a massive X Factor alumni reunion. Why not? It would be great, wouldn't it? And when we can actually go out and see things live, that would <laughs> exactly. be wonderful. But I love the way how you've used the, what happened on X Factor as a really good springboard to so many other things. You know, we, we're obviously seeing you on Saturday Night Takeaway. You've got your podcast, you've got your radio, all of these things. You've really made it work for you. 
Yeah, I think, you know, I never take any opportunity for granted. And obviously music is my one true love and my number one passion. But there are so many other things that I'm interested in, like fitness, I'm really passionate about. Me and my cousins, we've launched a company called The Weight Gym. We've got a little gym in a box that we launched in 2017. And of course, since the pandemic, because everybody's been working out from home, that's now taken off. And now, yeah. you know, I'm really busy doing that as well. <laughs> so it's like juggling all these things, but it keeps, it keeps things fresh and exciting. It's so good that you're doing that. And we, we all have to try and get back into shape because you know what, summer is just around the corner and I will have to throw away my <laughs> elasticated waistband clothes and do something. Do you know what we should do? We should just play your song as we for our alarm clock and, and work out to your song. And that would really get you yes, going every single morning. Yeah, your bed, morning. just like, bam! In the morning, yeah, <laughs> sax is the one to wake you up for sure. <laughs> now, look, lots of people were saying that you might be representing us at the Eurovision Song Contest, but it's already been decided, I believe, anyway, but you would be fantastic. Oh, do you know what? This rumour just follows me every single year. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but do you know what? I've, I've actually been swayed a bit by all of the tweets that I've had when people have thought that I have been doing it. So you never know. Never say never. It would be an absolute honour to fly the flag for the UK and, and to represent everyone and on such an epic stage as well. So you never know one day. I think you'd be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The energy that you would bring, you know, the fact that you can dance so well, you would just like, wow, it would be, it would be incredible. I would love to see that. Let's make it happen, for goodness sake. Let's make it happen, Lorraine. <laughs> Let's make Get it on the happen. Phone. Meanwhile, though, we can enjoy <laughs> you on Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway. We know it's happening tomorrow at seven o'clock. Tom Jones is going to be on as well, which is great. I love how they do that big end of the show show. You know, with a big sort of yes. huge, big end of the show show. I love that. But enjoy tomorrow. Um, I hope that the people that you surprise will will love it. Of course they will. Um, and just keep doing what you do, love. It's great to see you. Thank you. Lovely Thank to you. see you. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.